you haven't followed my channel before, I'm Ben Gander. I'm an ag teacher in Arkansas. I'm also a farmer. Um, general contractor, I do welding, plumbing, electricity, and just odd jobs on the side. We do a little bit of everything here on my farm. I've been welding since I was about 10 years old. My dad got me started back then. He learned from his ag teacher in high school. Um, and I train kids every year on how to weld and also train our welding team. I've had the pleasure to go to two welding schools this summer for just a couple days. I got to go to um, Elite Welding Academy in Arkansas and also UWI in Pottsville, Arkansas. Got to learn a lot of tricks from the trade from them guys and actually had some formal training. Um, I did have a college class, a three hour class for a semester in welding while I was in college. Um, but this is my opinion of the best welding hood for farm use. Not talking about industrial use, not talking about being professional, and I'm far from being a professional welder. But I will tell you, in my experience, what I really like about certain welding hood styles for farm welding. Let's get started with what I began with. My dad was a fan of speed glass hoods, and I'm not, we're not talking especially about the brand, but just your style of hood, okay? Your plastic hood, flip down hood with most of the time an automatic lens. Now, these hoods are good. Um, I've made a lot of money with this exact hood right here. I've had it over 10 years. The downfall to this hood is you have to have special clear lenses. And if you're not changing out your clear lenses routinely, you cannot see what you're welding. Also, this has an automatic lens. It has adjustable shade and adjustable sensitivity, and it's battery operated. Those batteries will go bad on you. And when you're out on a job, seems like they're always going bad and you got to keep those spare batteries and they're special watch batteries and sometimes they're hard to get. So that's the downfall of this hood. As well as whenever you're welding, if you have LED lights in your shop or if you have sun behind you, you're going to get glare on this uh, inside uh, lens. And that glare is going to affect your weld because you're not going to be able to see that your puddle, your weld puddle that you're watching and also everything around that. So that's a, a major problem. As far as safety goes, a good safe hood. You can find them almost anywhere, your tractor supply, your Harbor Freight, your Ace Hardware, anywhere that sells welding supplies is gonna have a hood that looks similar to this. My students at school, I buy them a Miller Classic hood. They work great. Um, but I've learned that there's better options out there, especially for farm use. I upgraded to a flip style outlaw hood. Now, you can get these old style hoods. This one's a little, a little dolled up with the outlaw with has the leather on top leather on bottom and i put this hood on a hard hat they come uh, just on regular head gear that goes on your head but i put a hard hat on this to show my students about what they're going to see in industry elite welding uh, when they start their kids out when they pay their tuition they get one of these hoods and they get a hard hat because in factories refineries oil rigs they're going to have to wear a hard hat um, so I like to model that with my students. The hard hat's great. It keeps you from hitting your head. Keeps some of that sun off the top of your head. Um, it gives a good solid base to your welding hood. This is just a flip up, flip down. Okay. I like this one because when I'm fabricating, I'm going to be holding something and just tilt my head. Do the old welder's nod. And then the hood's down. And what I like about this, you have your flip up shade. So... Elite Welding Academy, they require their kids um, to do double protection when they grind. Safety glasses, which you can wear safety glasses behind this, really easy, super safe, and then flip that up and you can grind and you have a clear lens right there to protect your eyes. Protect your eyes, you only have two of them, okay? I put just a fixed shade number 10 in this. Cheap, easy to come by, you can get them anywhere, and that's what I wanted to go back to instead of me worry about batteries, okay? And I like that. Now, problems with this hood. You will still get that glare from behind you with bright lights or, or the sun behind you. There's some weight to this hood. There was weight to this hood without the hard hat. You put the hard hat on there, it's quite a bit. Also, when you're welding overhead, if you're up underneath a piece of farm equipment, like it happens a lot, this right here is hitting the ground. And it's very difficult to flip that forward if you're under something or if you have something obstructing you in a confined space and that's always bumping um, something that you're welding with. Now I like the fixed shade, it's crystal clear. You can get a lot better lens for less money on a fixed shade than you can an auto lens. Uh, so it took a little bit of learning for me to go to auto back to a fixed shade, but hey, it's doable. 
Um, I like it, it works good. It's never, you never have to worry about the sensitivity or it kicking on, kicking off, or it's, if it's in the wrong mode, it's fixed. Okay, so that works great. The last hood I wanna talk about, oh, and with this, you have a two by four um, clear lens right here, and you have a clear lens in here, two by four filter lens, you can get these anywhere. Anywhere at all, anywhere that sells lens or uh, welding supplies, you're gonna be able to buy a lens for this hood. Unlike whatever model you got right here. Now, what I found that I really like the best, and I think what is best for farm use, is a pancake style hood. Some of you may have never seen one of these hoods before in your life. I didn't until I started teaching and started learning a little bit more about pipeline welding. Pancake hood, because it looks like a pancake. This one's an original pancake brand. I'm not saying that they're the best, but this is the one that I have. So it just goes on your head like this with a headband. You get ready to weld, you pull it down, and you start welding. The plus side is your right, your right handed, and this will be on your left hand side to protect your ear. Now you have a big shield right here. You have a two by four lens that are cheap, easy to come by. You have a balsa wood box. If you have a piece of sandpaper, or you can use a Dremel tool if you have to take a lot off, and you will fit this to your face. I fit it to my face. When you do that, no sparks are gonna get in there around your eyes. You're not gonna get any glare from LED lights or any bright lights or the sun, and you can see exactly what you're welding, and that weld puddle's great. Uh, what I do, especially welding overhead, if you're welding overhead, this is just a headband back here. You can lay your head on the ground, you can have it on your mud board, whatever you're welding on, and there's just, it's easier to get into. I did put an ARC-1 auto lens in here that is solar only, no battery to worry about. I really like it, it's super clear. It's their ARC-1 Arc Duo with 10 and 11 shade and also grind function. It's a HD lens, everything looks really clear, crystal clear and blue in there when you're welding. I like it. I would've just bought the, the 10 shade, but um, this is all I had on the website. And you can get replaceable bands. The hood is pretty cheap as far as uh, a good welding helmet. The pancake hood's only about $70. Now, when you put a good auto lens in there, you're looking at more like, you know, $100 or so for the lens or more. Um, the downside of this one, if you're fabricating and grinding a lot, there's no flip up. So if you want to go to grind and have double protection for your eyes, you have to punch the button in here on this one and change it to your grind function which means take it off, put it back on, and there's no flip down. I mean, you cannot flip this down. You're gonna to have to hold it, grab it, pull it down, and then start your weld. So with that, that's kind of my opinion. I think the pancake hood as far as farm use, because you can get the hood pretty reasonable, cheaper than you can an outlaw hood. I like the outlaw hood if I'm in the shop, fabricating if I don't have bright lights behind me. I really enjoy it. But especially if I'm outside, I really like this one. Lighter weight, it's, um, it's cooler on your head, no glare from behind, it's safe, no sparks, no trash getting in there, you can weld overhead, no problem. I like the pancake hood. So if you're looking to buy a good welding hood, if you're gonna start doing some jobs like I do on the farm and be the designated welder, you might wanna look into getting you a pancake hood over some of these other ones. So top choice, would be a pancake style hood. Second choice would be a an old style, um, kind of like what your grandpa might have had, the old flip hood with the flip up lens. That'd be number two. And then at the bottom of the list would be a, a plastic hood. Okay. So with that, remember I'm Ben Gander. I have a YouTube channel here. Please like and subscribe. Uh, share with your friends. Turn on those notification bell. I post a lot of videos on about agriculture, fabricating, uh, teaching kids, and just my everyday life. And with that, keep making every toe push.